Dear students, let's start with the revision of uh, our topic carbohydrates. So what are the carbohydrates? Carbohydrates are the hydrates of carbon. So its formula would be CH2O and if the number of carbon atoms are X, the number of water molecules would be Y. So this is general formula of carbohydrate. Carbohydrates are classified according to the number of uh, monohydrates formed by the hydrolysis reaction. So monosaccharides are named as mono because there are only single molecules formed on hydrolysis. That is, we can say that there is no hydrolysis at all. So for example, when we say that glucose molecule C6H12O6 is subjected to hydrolysis, then there is no reaction. If it is so, then uh, the glucose molecule will be called as monosaccharide. The other uh, classification would be olig oligosaccharides. So oligosaccharides are the number of carbohydrate molecules uh, from which on hydrolysis we can form 2 to 9 number of monosaccharide molecules. So for example sucrose, so C12, H22, O11 plus water molecule gives C6H12O6 plus C6H12O6 that is one molecule would be of glucose, another molecule would be of fructose. So when sucrose is hydrolyzed, we get two monosaccharide molecules. So we say that uh, sucrose molecule is a, an oligosaccharide or a disaccharide. Oligosaccharides can be further uh, named as disaccharides or tri, tetra, penta and so on. The other class would be uh, the polysaccharide molecules. So for example, when we hydrolyze starch, or when we uh, hydrolyze uh, cellulose, then we get more number of molecules uh, than, uh, than the di or tri or more than 10 number of molecules are formed on hydrolysis. So these molecules are uh, the polysaccharides. Another type of classification uh, depends upon the, the uh, functional groups present in the molecules. So for example, they are classified as aldoses or ketoses. If aldehyde group is present, they are termed as aldos. If ketone group is present, then they are termed as ketoses. So for example, uh, when we talk about glucose, it has CHO molecule in glucose. So we say that glucose is um, an aldose molecule. But if there is C double bond O as it is present in the, uh, the fructose molecule, then we will call it as ketose. Okay. Then it can be further classified uh, on the basis of the number of carbon atoms present in it. So for example, we call it triose if three number of carbon atoms are present, tetrose if four carbons, five carbons, pentose and so on. So if we, talk, we are talking about glucose molecule C6, H12O6, glucose has six carbon atoms and it contains an aldehyde group. So we we'll call glucose as aldohexose. Uh, fructose, it has six carbon atoms, but uh, it has ketone functional group, so we'll call it as ketohexose and so on. The another type, another type of uh, 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 of carbohydrate or another classification of carbohydrate is on the basis of whether they are reducing sugars or non-reducing sugars. That is whether they react with some oxidizing reagents like failing solution or or toluene solution or whether they can react with bromine water or not. So for example, uh, if glucose reacts, if glucose reacts with failing solution, then glucose would be uh, a reducing sugar. If it doesn't, uh, doesn't react with failing solution, then it will be called as non-reducing sugar. Normally when there are uh, free aldehyde or keto groups present, then the sugars are reducing sugars. That is important point to be noted. The another point would be reactions, reactions of glucose or these reactions can also be used to predict whether the molecule given carbohydrate is open chain structure or closed ring structure. So to prove that glucose is uh, open, open chain structure, we use these reactions. So these reactions are extremely important for exams like IIT. So first, first reaction of glucose would be with hot HI. So whenever we try to write this reaction, we write in this way, so CHO, glucose contains aldehyde group, 
then it contains four CHOH groups and then CH2OH. So this is glucose molecule. It will form on the reaction with hot HI, it forms CH3, CH2 four times and CH3. That is it forms N exam. So reaction is of reduction, reduction of glucose with hot uh, hydroiodic acid. Second reaction would be with HCN. So if we consider this C double bond O and single bond H with some R group here. So if it is considered as any aldehyde instead of taking all the remaining groups present, then the reaction we can consider as the reaction we already studied in the aldehyde ketones uh, chapter. So as there is a double bond, we can add the reagent. Uh, we break this reagent into two parts. The negative part would be added to positive carbon and positive part would be added to negative oxygen. So it will give us product CH, the remaining R group as it is. Carbon will get CN group and oxygen will get OH. So we will get cyanohydrin. As it is formed from glucose, we call it glucosinohydrin. Another reaction. Next reaction. It's of bromine water. Bromine water is a mild oxidizing agent. So we react actually with oxygen. So this oxygen will oxidize aldehyde group. It will not oxidize any of the alcohol groups present in glucose. This is important that it will oxidize only aldehyde group. So aldehyde will be oxidized to COOH group. The remaining structure will remain same. This is called as gluconic acid. Next, similar reaction will occur if we react with ferric solution. So ferric solution is Cu2 plus in presence of ammonia, in presence of OH minus ions and so on. So if we react it with failing solution, then the molecule formed will be same, but it will be uh, with Cu2O molecule, which will form a red precipitate. Another reaction, it's again mild oxidation in presence of Tollens reagent. So Tollens reagent is Ag plus ions in presence of ammonia. So this will form same product plus precipitate of silver that is silver mirror test. So these are mild oxidizing agents. So it will only oxidize aldehyde group to acid group but the alcohol groups are uh, unaffected. But if we react this glucose molecule with uh, strong oxidizing agent, for example, dilute HNO3, then it can oxidize aldehyde group as well as primary alcohol group, but it will not oxidize any of the secondary alcohol groups. So aldehyde and alcohol, primary alcohol would be oxidized to COOH, remaining four secondary alcohol groups will remain as they were and the primary alcohol group is also oxidized to COH. This is called as saccharic acid. Next reaction. The reaction is of acylation. Normally acylation reaction is carried out by using acyl chloride or, um, or acetic anhydride. So let us use acetic anhydride here. So now in this case, we write this reaction as it has to be shown in in detail.
So this is complete structure of glucose. All OH groups can be reacted with uh, with this acyl group. Also, this group is reacting with, uh, with with the acyl group. So it means that we have total five number of alcohol groups. So all would be converted to OAC acyl uh, acylation group. So we say that it will form CHO CH OAC. Single bond CH OAC okay. It is called as penta acyl glucose. Penta acyl glucose is called. Another topic would be formation of Hayworth projection formula. This is important topic. So, how to draw Hayworth projection formula? How to identify whether it is alpha D or beta uh, beta D or beta L? So that is important part for IIT and CET like exams. So let us draw the full structure of glucose first. Once again, okay. now if this OH group is on the right hand side, we call this glucose as D glucose. There are there are many OH groups which can react with aldehyde group to form hemiacetal. So we can say that if this OH group attacks CHO group, then the number of uh, bonds formed would be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and 7. So 7 membered ring is not that stable. If this oxygen attacks aldehyde group, then the hemiacetal formed would be uh, of 6 membered ring. So it is stable one. If this attacks, then it will form 5 member ring, which is again stable. So attack of these two OH groups gives stable hemiacetals. If the ring is formed 5 member, then we call it as Pyranose ring. If the ring formed is from this oxygen, then 6 member ring is formed, which is called as Pyranose ring. So let us first consider attack of this OH group. So let us write down this structure in another way. This is CHO group, so first carbon, then second carbon is this one. If OH is on the right hand side, write it downwards. Here OH is on left hand side, so write it upwards. OH right hand side, so write it downward again. OH on the right hand side, so downward again and it has a CH2 OH group. Then we want to attack from this OH. Where is this OH present in this kind of structure? It's this OH but it, it has to attack from the nearest position. So we have to convert this position somehow like this. So this OH group will migrate in this the direction or the bond will be rotated so that the remaining structure is as it is. OH is downward, this OH is upward, this OH is downward. But here this OH will go in this position. So we have rotated it in this direction so that CH2OH group will be up. Then attack occurs, then write down this ring structure now.
if we write this anomeric OH formed downwards, if we compare it with this structure and this attacking OH is also down. So if this anomeric OH group is in the same direction as it was this OH group was before, then we call it as alpha. So this molecule formed this alpha D and it is having glucose. We have just formed a projection formula of D glucose, but when OH group is downwards, in case of D, it is alpha. If I draw this OH group upwards, then it is in opposite direction as compared to this OH group, and then we will call it as beta position. So this will be beta D glucose. Right now we will draw both of them. So this is alpha D glucose and the other structure form would be like this. Sorry, this will be beta. Okay, so I think that you should practice for uh, Hayward projection formula of fructose molecule just try it if you don't understand anything then uh, you can always message me and uh, I think that you should practice this part more and try to solve some MCQs if you have any doubt you are always welcome to ask me